Hello and welcome to today's training. I'm Eviana Bynum with evianabynum.com and I'm a productivity strategist. I'm going to help you free up your days for what's most important to you and I'm also going to help you transform the way you live and work via simple fail-safe strategies and in this case I'm going to help you go paperless. So today we're going to teach you about Evernote. So just a little bit of background about Evernote. I'm here on the evernote.com website is that it is basically an online note-taking tool. Uh, You can have notebooks, notes, store all sorts of information. So right on the website alone, it shows you a little bit of background on Evernote. So you can write lists, research, you can store files, uh, you can make uh, all sorts of documents. You can gather everything and you can collaborate with people. You can do presentations. And what's my favorite about it is that I have it on my iPhone, my iPad, uh, my note, my computer, sorry, on my laptop. So I have it everywhere and everything syncs to the cloud and I'm just able to access all my information wherever I go. And look, right here it shows an, a smartwatch. It looks like an Apple watch. So the other thing that's really cool about it is that it doesn't just work for Apple products. It works for Android products. It's not just for Mac. It's also for Windows. So if you have that question, then just know that Evernote has got you covered. So if you don't have a an Evernote account, you're going to go to evernote.com and you're just going to put an email address and a password. And for the sake of this training, I did uh, create a brand new account using another one of my email addresses and I'm just going to log in right now. And this is what Evernote looks like on the web browser when you first sign up. So as you can see on the left hand side, you're going to see the plus where you can make a new note. This is where you can search and search your notebooks. Here's where you can see your shortcuts. That's a note. You can, looks like a little piece of paper, notebooks and tags. And I'm going to give you a brief overview of what each of those mean. I wanted to show you this because of the fact that some of you may not, you know, make it use the desktop application, but I do highly recommend using that because it is just so much better and it's easier. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to actually go to the desktop application. I'm going to log in here. I'm just going to make it full screen. So right here, I signed up for an Evernote basic account, but I'm going to tell you one thing. I have Evernote premium and it's only $50 a year. While with basic, you get uh, pretty much all of the features. I do highly recommend premium if you're going to go completely paperless. The reason being is that with Evernote basic, uh, I think you can only upload up to 200 megabytes per month. And with Evernote Premium, I want to say it's about 4 gigs of data. Um, 1 to 4 gigs. Regardless, it's more than what I need. I do not need Evernote Business. Um, But I do highly recommend Evernote Premium. The reason why is because I upload tons of files to Evernote. I scan documents and I send them right to my Evernote filing cabinet. I take pictures and I upload them to Evernote. I scan business cards to Evernote through my phone. I pretty much do everything with Evernote. Uh, I also, anything that I want to access while I'm on the go or anywhere like from my phone, my iPad, or my laptop that I take when I'm on the go, um, if I created it on my desktop computer, then obviously I can access it on the go through my applications, through my phone and my iPad. But okay, let's go back to this uh, preview. So it shows here, right here, this is like the first note that they make for you. It's welcome to Evernote. And it shows you some pretty cool things about Evernote. You can have reminders. 
Uh, you can have shortcuts and all sorts of other great things. First, I'm going to tell you about notes. So when you create a note, which is used right up here, this is basically like a piece of paper in your filing cabinet or a file or a sheet in your notebook. Um, you can create a title. You can click here and my favorite thing to do is create checklists. So let's say buy printer paper buy ink for printer. I'm totally making this up. Um, and then these are little, you can check them off, which is my favorite. Over here, you can create tags. So tags are really cool because you can have unlimited tags um, in one note versus the fact that in a note, it can only go to one notebook. So if you want to customize your search in Evernote, you can put as many tags as you want for um, search capabilities, or you can search certain tags and all of the notes that correspond to those tags will come up. So let's say it's going to be shopping lists. And you press enter. Say, um, I don't know, printer. Um, and then this tag is going to remain as a tag that can be applied to other notes. So once you start creating other notes, you'll see, watch, when you start typing shopping list, look, that tag already exists. Printer, that tag already exists. Okay, let's do sample note number two. Okay, so in this same note, um, one of the greatest features that I love is this little paper clip right here. Right there, I can attach files. I like to save all of my ebooks to Evernote, and I have a notebook for my ebooks. So there we go. I just went to Notebooks. I clicked on New Notebook, and I created an ebook notebook. Here, you click on this little guy, and you're going to make sure that it's a synchronized notebook. The reason why you want it to be synchronized is because when you go on your iPad or your iPhone, that is going to synchronize every time you, you save something. Um, and it'll basically synchronize to the cloud. And this is where you do all of your syncing. So whenever you create something new, you just press that. And then you can go on your iPad and it'll appear on your Evernote in your iPad once you're logged in. In notebooks, a really cool feature about them is that you can create stacks. So what I'll do is I'll drag this one onto this one, and now I've created a stack of notebooks. So let's say, um, we're gonna say, we're gonna name this stack personal. So let's say I create a recipes notebook. I can add it to this stack. See, so now they're all going to come up. Then I can create, um, so in my personal Evernote, I have a notebook for launching. So in that launching notebook, I have all of the notes that are involved with a current launch or information that helps me to launch uh, products or services or things like that. I also have a notebook for filing cabinet. Ooh. And I have an inbox. And my inbox notebook, which is what I would suggest for you, is my default notebook. The reason why is, like we taught you in the paper cleanse, when you have an inbox, so for example, I have my inbox in my kitchen, all of the papers, so current bills that I just get in the mail or just certain paperwork and things like that that need to be scanned and uploaded, when, my, when I upload things using my scanner, I have my scanner set up so that when I scan a paper, I name it 
and it goes to my inbox. So every new note goes into my inbox. And then let's say I just got a new note that was scanned in. So I'm just going to, for the purpose of this training, I'm going to do new scan. As you can see, when I created a new note, since it's my default notebook, it's going to be an inbox. I'm going to open up my inbox. I'm going to see this new scan and I'm going to say, okay, I need to rename this note to 2015 March. I'm going to just name it utility bill. Under tags, I'm going to tag it with, I'm going to say unpaid bills. That's a tag that I have. And then I'm going to name this one, let's say I'm going to name it uh, U Water. That's my water company. So all of the bills that are corresponding to U Water, whenever I pull up that tag, I'm going to see all of the old bills. And when I'm going through and paying bills, I'm going to look up the tag unpaid bills. I'm going to find this utility bill, which I've placed also in my filing cabinet. I'm going to pull up this bill and I'm going to go and pay it. And then I'll go and remove this tag because it's paid. So that's one example of how I use my Evernote. Over here, when you go to tags, you can see all of the tags that I currently have. So they're alphabetized. So when I'm looking for a certain tag and maybe I don't remember what I named it, then that's where I'm going to see them. So if I want to make a notebook easily accessible, I'm just going to right click. And I'm going to add this notebook to shortcuts. So as you can see, my inbox is in my shortcuts. Let's say I look at my ebooks a lot and I like to have them easily accessible. I can go to ebooks and add this notebook to shortcuts as well. And I'll see all my shortcuts here. Here, as you can see, I'll see my recent notes and all those things. Every time before I exit Evernote, I'm going to click on this little guy and I'm going to synchronize my notebooks so that I can easily access them wherever I go. So guys, I think this is a pretty good getting started guide on Evernote. So it kind of shows you all of the things that you can do with Evernote just in that. In the future, I will be going a little deeper into how I organize my notes how I set everything up so that I have a completely paperless business and I'll be teaching you all the cool tricks and things that you can do with Evernote. I hope this was helpful and I hope this can help you get started with Evernote and starting to scan notes into Evernote and starting your paperless life. So thank you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day.